Hi, well today I'm going to be talking about cybercrime. In the actual fact I'll be talking about business email compromise, affectionately known as BEC. But at this point you're probably saying, well we've all heard about cybercrime and so what can be new? Well business email compromise is actually the fastest category of growing cybercrime in the world. Cybercrime costs the global community somewhere in the order of 600 billion dollars a year and it's growing at a rapid rate. If you think about it, it's actually 60 of the new Western Sydney airports. That's a massive amount of money. But business email compromise is an area of cybercrime which is actually not about a particular technical hack. It's actually a method that fraudsters are using to basically dupe unsuspecting employees working for companies to actually extract funds out of that company and deposit it into a different bank account. And so it's actually using an archaic system within the banking industry to actually defraud businesses of that money. So the reason we want to talk about this today is because Crime Stoppers is committed to the personal safety of all of Australians. But that includes those of businesses as well. Preying on companies is preying on people who work in those companies. When you defraud companies of their wealth, you're defrauding the people who work in that company of every opportunity to grow and for that company to grow. So what we want to do is we want to share with you today about business email compromise and how companies are suffering at the hands of these fraudsters. It's important to realize that business email compromise or BEC is actually perpetrated not necessarily from within Australia, it can actually be perpetrated from outside Australia and that brings a whole level of complication because unless we take on the position that we're trying to prevent this from happening, if you do succumb to being a prey or a victim of these perpetrators, the issue is trying to find out who they are and invariably they're overseas and there's issues relating to actually finding them, identifying who they are, locating them, charging them and then you have the added complication of extradition and not all countries have an extradition treaty with Australia so if you think about how complicated it is to actually track down these criminals it's far easier to learn how you can protect your business from becoming a victim in the first place in the last two years alone over 46 percent of Australian businesses have reported that they have been cyber attacked now we think that that number is probably conservative because a lot of companies do not report the fact that they've actually had a cyber attack. So what can you do to protect your business? Well, Crime Stoppers is interested in protecting businesses and reducing crime in the community. And for that reason, we have partnered with Australian fintech company FTUR. FTUR has a unique and proprietary system called Know Your Payee. And what it does is verifies in real time that the vendor's invoice, the account number, the name and the BSP are correct and when it red flags that if there's an issue it allows you to intervene and stop the payment from going through.